What is up guys, welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. In this episode, we will be starting to work on our towers. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe and like the video to support the channel. It really helps out a lot. Thank you. Now, let's start coding. To begin, we need a towers class. So, objects, new, class, tower. And uh, let's make a constructor, public tower. So our tower will have a position, private int x and y. And it also needs an ID for this type or this specific tower. And most likely it will be a tower type as well, depending on what type of tower we got. So int x, int y, int id, and uh, tower, no, int tower type. This dot x equals x, this dot y equals y, this dot id equals id, this dot tower type equals tower type. And we don't need any buffered image, we're gonna have that in a list inside a manager that deals with tower, such as a tower manager. So uh, let's just create that right away. So managers, right click, new, class, tower, ma manager. And uh, this one will have a constructor as well, tower manager. And uh, it's going to be hard to know exactly what we will need, need in here, but absolutely we will need a plane, plane. Private line plane. This dot plane equals plane. And we import the class as well. And of course, we're going to need some images as well, but we're going to make an array out of it. So private buffered image tower image. And we're going to import that class. And we also want to load this array. So we make a method uh, load tower images. Nothing fancy. Create. And we're going to do something very similar to enemies. So we're going to make a temporary holder for the entire atlas. Buffered image atlas equals load save dot get sprite atlas. And then we need to take a look at our atlas here. And it's going to be the second row, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So three images or three types of towers. Place that over there. And four int i equals zero. i is less than three, i plus plus. But before we do that, we're gonna Initialize this equals new image three. And here we will say tower images dot i equals at plus get sub image. Uh, we need to start at four plus i times thirty two for x. Then for y it's gonna be thirty two for width thirty two and height for thirty two. Right, because it's going to be, yeah, that should work. And we can remove the brackets, like so. So now we have the images. So that will be Canon, Archer, Wizard. And while we're at it, let's just uh, make sure we don't confuse the order of these. So let's go to our constant class. Let's put it here so we can see. And just like the enemies, a new class, public, static, class, towers and we will have a public static final int for canon equals zero and we're gonna copy that archer equals one wizard equals two like so and this order right here will match what's on the sprite atlas and also the order of the images, which is exactly what we wanted. 
And then we can close this for now. And we will also need a draw method. So public void draw graphics G. And we need to import that class. Let's just add a tower here and see what we need to add for it to be shown on the level. So private tower tower is tower for simple right now. Import load tower image. Then we need a load towers or init towers. And we'll probably remove this tower later or we will remove it. But this is just to see whether or not it works. And uh, tower equals new tower. It needs an x, say uh, 3 times 32, 6 times 32, id 0, tower type equals. Um, let's just start with an archer. Let's see, this does not recognize it, so import static helps constants, towers, and all of them, like so. And in draw, we say g.drawImage, and we only need the position. Uh, tower, image, uh, da, 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 da. which one was that? I think Archer, let's just place Archer here. I think that's gonna correspond, Archer equals one, and Archer is the second one. Yeah, that's going to be correct. And for position, we say tower dot get. Oh, that's right. We don't have any getters in here. So let's just add them. Right click, source, generate getters and setters, select all, generate, save, tower defense, back here, tower dot get x, tower dot get y and null of course so now we need to go to our playing class where is it there it is and under enemy manager we say private tower manager tower manager and below here we say tower manager oops it was new tower manager this oops not like so, import the class, save it, go to our render, we're going to add update later. Ah, let's just add it right now, tower.update. We won't have anything in here for a while, but it's good to have public void update. Save that one, error disappears, tower manager. And then here we say tower manager draw. So now if we run the game, we should have a tower showing and we do. So our first tower is in the game. It's completely useless for now, but uh, at least we have a tower showing. It's nice to see that we're making some progress with our game, but this bothers me. All enemies are clumped up together, moving at the same speed. So let's just change that real quick. So go to our constant class here we're gonna make a few variables in our enemies class here enemies class but we also need to bring up our enemy manager class and the default speed is 0.5 float let's make a method in this enemies class public static float because it's gonna return a float value and we will call it get speed and it will take an int enemy type so we will pass in one of these four values and we will add a switch enemy type and then we will have a case orc break and let's just copy that real quick no not break actually we're gonna need return so return let's make a return like so copy paste 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 format like so then we had a bat we had a knight and we also had a wolf and the orc will be the default one so 0.05 float 
the bat. Um, let's make him. Let's make the bat a little faster. So, 65 float. These are values that we will play around with a lot later. Uh, knight will be a slow one because he will be like a tank. So, point three float. And the wolf will be the fastest one. So, point seventy five float. Let's just say. And for some reason, if we accidentally give it some type of enemy type that doesn't exist, then we just return zero. Zero float. Zero. Yeah, that's good enough. And now we can go to our enemy manager. Let's uh, remove speed. So we'll see. Or actually, let's comment that out for now. And then we get all these errors. So E move speed. Um, let's uh, import that uh, method. So maybe I already have. Let's see if that works. Um, speed get get speed e dot get enemy type. Yeah, that works. So let's copy this one and move to here as well. Like so, and then we had something down here. Get speed and width int direction. Uh, we actually need int enemy type as well. So we just need to add that. You do so, and it's actually just enemy type, not e dot get enemy type. So copy. Now that's better. And then we do the same here. Enemy type. Get speed, get speed enemy type for speed and height and speed and width. And here we also need to import or give it uh, the e dot get enemy type. Copy the little one. And so. And up here we have some issues too, like so, like so. All right, I think that's going to work. Let's just run the game and see if there's any speed difference. It should be. It's working. All of them are different speeds. So the wolf is running the fastest, then the bat, the orc, and the knight is in the back. All right, it's working. Perfect. And this will be a good stop for this episode. I will split the tower episodes into smaller pieces. I think people will find them easier to digest rather than my longer episodes. Next part will most likely be about adding tower buttons, so keep an eye out for that one. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next part. But until then, take care and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!